you've made it to checkout, and you made it to measurements, right? So you've gone through this whole process, and the bride has said yes, but you're not home yet, right? We know that's the truth. Like, sometimes you get to this part, and people are like, so we were thinking that maybe, right? Like, it can sometimes happen that brides end up, like, not giving their money or not purchasing in this particular moment, and it could be because of the way that we arc this through. So I'm going to teach you a little bit about, like, how we're going to do this. So just keep this in mind. Number one, the peak of her emotion has just happened. So she's at the top of her mountain right now. And what you don't want to do is just throw her right back down to the bottom at the very end. And just go straight logistics, no emotion, forget the celebration, what credit card, right? So like we got to keep her peak of emotion super high in this particular moment. So we're going to actually like just show you this in a second. But what I want you to do is as soon as she says yes to the dress, you're, she's up here and she says, yes, this is my dress. What I don't want you to do is be like, oh my gosh, yes, congratulations. I'm going to get the measuring tape. I'll be right back. And then you run away. So stay in this moment with her just a little bit longer and take the pictures, do the whole thing. I know it sounds silly to say it out loud, but sometimes people get so excited or, and or they like, oh, the next process is like, I got to go get this and I got to print out the word. Don't say the word contract in this moment. I'm going to get the contract paperwork ready. They're like, oh, contract. This seems crazy. We want to keep it light and fun and exciting because she's just hit this peak of emotion. So keep that in mind. So stay in this moment. Celebrate it. Of course, full blown. Don't like leave this. If you have like an assistant or a junior stylist or whatever, they can go start prepping if they need to, but don't just have them run right then and there. I know it sounds silly, but we're getting the nitty gritty, y'all. So <coughs> after that, obviously she's got to go back in the room <laughs> at some point and take this dress off. So when she goes back into this dressing room, there's two ways to do measurements, right? So there's either in the dressing room or over the clothes. How do you guys do it? Bra and underwear? Bra and underwear. Dressed. Yeah. In the dressing room, dressed. You can do it either way. Here at, at start, Abel Loren, they do it like at the checkout counter, actually. You know you can get do their right. measurements there. And at so my store, we do it bra and underwear in the dressing like, room. Right, girl, there's pros and cons to both, so whatever you do at your store, there's a, a couple different great. ways. So when fitted, so either way, on, totally fine. Versus so if we pull you're in here, you're still talking, sides, right? You take. Does this feel like crazy, like elementary? Like you guys are like, we got this, Rachel. No. Okay, good. Here's the thing: is that like, there's this is like this. And up. I have discovered when people continually tell me, like, well, when we get to check out, they're just like, they've cried, they've done all the things, and then they get to check out, and then they don't buy. If that's consistently your story, I bet your hiccups right here. Like in the checkout process. I know it sounds crazy, but I guarantee it. Like if you, I'll tell you. Okay, so you measure her in the room or out of the room. Either way is totally fine. If you're measuring her in the room, I want you to like, this is tough to do. So you're gonna measure her bust, waist, and hip, right? And as you measure her, it's hard to do with a microphone, but we're gonna do it. that she needs to understand what you are doing so it's not just like this fictitious world that she's in and she has no idea like why you're measuring this or what it means or what it's going to look like when you get to the paperwork so i'm gonna get a measuring tape coming back okay so who wants to be my bride don't worry, I'm not saying your numbers out loud. This is a very long measuring tape, you guys. How many inches does this go? Yeah. I need to step my game up. Yeah, do you want to hold my microphone? Okay, we well, might have to come up here because I'm, I'm 18 feet tall. Yeah. Oh, the strap, so cute. Okay, welcome to my brides. Okay, thank you for holding this. Okay, so come towards me. Okay, so here's what I would say. Like, first of all, you're here in the moment. 
again, the peak has happened. You've taken the photos. We're kind of descending a little bit, but we, we're, we are not actually trying to descend. We're trying to stay on top, okay? So here's what you're going to do. So I would just come closer to me because this mic's <laughs> far. Okay. So I'd be like, okay, first of all, I'm going to take your measurements. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll be like, okay, girl, are you going out to, like, to celebrate out? Like, what do you do? Like, you know. Yeah, I might take a drink or out. Okay. All right. I love that. Okay, so I'm going to take your bus measurements. So I'm going to go right across your bus. Do you see I'm describing the words? I'm going to go right across your bus so she's not like, why are you touching me? Right? So, like, some people could be uncomfortable here. I have two. You can't see this on the camera. But I have two fingers, like, behind this measuring tape so that this actually wiggles. Okay? So it's going to wiggle back and forth. And then from here, so she's kind of, like, on a half size. So I'm going to, like, probably pull on to the tighter one. But I can see that there's, like, an indention here. So I'm going to release it just a little bit. So she has room to wiggle. I'm not going to say the number. She's going to be maybe looking at it. Either way, totally fine. So then what I would do is obviously I just hold this like this. Because if you're anything like me, there could be a time where I'm like, well, what was that? <laughs> well, number, I'm also dyslexic, so, you know, we got we to gotta get this down. So I would hold this on the measuring tape like this, and then I will write it down on my thing. If you type into Bridal Live, totally cool. You're just going to type that right into Bridal Live, that number. So then I'm like, okay, great. So, yeah, I love that you're going to go drink a lot. Like, what's your favorite drink? Something light and sweet. Okay, li <laughs> love that, light and sweet. Okay, so this is your waist measurement. Obviously, it's going to matter. And that dress looks just straight ahead for me. That way you can kind of feel that. Okay, give me, I always say, breathe in, breathe out for me. Deep breath. And the reason I say that is because most of the time when you're touching someone, even over their clothes, their natural inclination is... <gasps> to like suck in, which is totally fine, but I need them to breathe. And then I'll be like, great news is I want you to breathe in your wedding dress. Good news there, right? Okay, perfect. Again, I'm gonna pull it off and hold with my finger, write it down or type in Bridal Life. Do you see how I'm talking to her about what's happening? And I'm talking to her. And then I'm gonna say, okay, feet all the way together. And then I always say, look straight ahead. Okay, I'm gonna measure your hips. Obviously, you didn't fit a dress, it matters. So, okay, so I'm gonna go around your high knee and then to the front of you. Okay, on this measurement, I'm going to turn this this to the side. I tend to pull the measurement here. Oops. So I measure so that like my hands are like gripping on the side of her of her body rather than right in the front because the front is, you know, our private area. So we would like some I just measure here, especially if you're doing bra and underwear, it could be like they're just like in skimpy panties or something. So that's what I would do. Measure to like here. And then I always take a little look, a little gander around to make sure that we're in the center of the hiney. So then I would say, okay, perfect. Love that. Okay, that's it. And then I would hold it, write it down. Thank you. Um, and then from there, obviously, you guys, I would tell her, like, okay, so tell her the next step. I know it sounds so crazy, you guys, but tell her the next step. Thank you for holding my microphone. Um, I would tell her the next step, like, okay, perfect. Go ahead and get dressed. And then meet me right over here. And or if you're doing them over here, then we're going to walk through the size chart. Okay, so I wonder if I gotta move Mr. Cameraman over here, so I don't know if you need to come back. <laughs> um, just over here, like at the checkout. Oh, she's going to do it. How do how do you guys feel about measurements? What do you say? No, never say them all. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, and it could be anything. It could be that like you don't know what she's been through with her body, and or she's totally comfortable with it. Like it's one or the other, and I think we're moving towards like less people being worried, but also not moving that way. So it's, I just would never say them out loud just because also there's other people probably in your store and there's really no reason to announce them in general. So um, I will say if your store is a place where like once you sell a dress, someone else comes into the room to do measurements, if that's a thing that happens, I would just highly suggest that consider changing <laughs> that. And here's why I would say that is because you've made this connection with this human being for someone else to come and enter into a space that's like very personal, like physically, I, I, it's just harder. So, okay, I'm going to demonstrate this one more time. Come on up. Okay. So 
Actually, I'm going to measure you at the checkout counter. So it, it'll. <laughs> you're so sweet. So we're going to move over this way, you guys. So that was if you do measurements like right outside or in the dressing room, the first one. She's getting dressed and then tell her what to do. But before that, when her party is out here, you guys, and she's made a decision, give them something to do. So like here at Ava Lauren, they have a lounge so they can go hang out, have a drink, a snack, or go take photos. But give your party something to do after the bride says yes and you're going into the dressing room. Because if you haven't noticed, <laughs> sometimes what will happen is people will sit here together and they'll be like, I mean, like they're looking at photos and like, well, maybe we should go one more place. They start to come up with a new idea. So give them something to do. Okay, so like we have jackets at my store that like have like, the bride room, we are Nashville, so like the fringy and fun. So I'll be like, okay, so see those jackets over there? Go grab some of those, because when she comes out, you guys can do photos on those. Give them something to do, rather than just like sit there. So whatever it is for your store, I would give the party something to do, okay? Okay, so we're gonna come over here. You guys can stay there, you can see me probably. We're moving. Okay, so let's say that, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so long. There we go. Okay, she's obviously my bride. Um, and then what you're going to do, obviously, you're, you've, here's what they would do here. So she's out of the dressing room. Her party is now at the vault area, so they're getting snacks and drinks. So you'll say whoever is like the bride, whoever needs to be with you for checkout, just have them come with you. So it'd be bride and like, come join her party. <laughs> bride and mom. <laughs> so bride and mom, you, you, we've said, just bring whoever you want to over here for checkout. You're fully dressed. This is exactly what they would do here. At my store, we do measurements in the room. Um, my store is much smaller, and that's exactly how I want it. <laughs> so we would say, do measurements in the dressing room, and we would go over. We do checkout on a, an iPad. So if you do checkout on an iPad, then I would just be bringing this all over. So like, a lot of you probably have that like bridal live terminal thing, right? So like you have an iPad and bring all of the needed stuff after you do her measurements in the dressing room, go grab it and run right back. So that there's no lag time in between. So there's not a time where the bride is ever really without you. So if this is your situation in regards to checkout, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. This is gonna be so great. Okay, so awesome. Okay, so we're gonna do your, your measurements real quick. If you're ready. Uh-huh, uh-huh, the waist. Okay, she's saying, sh okay, she's just saying that like, if like from, for her frame specifically, it can get tricky. She feels that like if girls who don't know where to measure just based off like, let's say it's a, bri a broad, this is my actual broad. Where like, they're like, okay, so like, where do I measure bust waist and hips? So here's what I would say. Will you hold my mic? That you kind of have to do like, I'm gonna misuse these words, but like not an experiment, but like if you're gonna turn, just push your, I would, I would turn with my hands like this and say, okay, so arms out for me, but I can feel her bra right here, you guys. So under her clothes, I can feel it. So that's where my, I'm then just going to basically give her a hug, turn your head, mm -hmm. otherwise you'll be really <laughs> hugging her. So turn your head, go in, and then you're gonna come out like this. So you can kind of see where the, where the bust is. And then, okay, arm is back down for me is what I would say. And I would say, okay, I'm going to measure through the center of your bust. I'm describing this because if I'm not in the center of her bust, she's going to let me know. Mm -hmm. Right? So if she's like, oh, that's actually not the center of my bust, okay, great news. <laughs> we know we're not there. And then I would say, okay, perfect. I would type it in. Okay, so, and then I'm going to redescribe. Okay, so now I'm going to measure your waist. So then I'm going to, again, give her a hug and go like this, and I can feel, so like, okay, so this is like that little like divot in the side of your body, like when you bend over, like how does that feel? Okay, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna say, okay, so this is like your waist, so kind of like if you bend over, it would, would crunch, like how does that feel? Good. Okay, perfect. Now, if she's on a half size, meaning let's say her measurements are in between one or the other, again, deep breath, breathe in, breathe out for me, Okay, so this didn't move, so it's perfect. So if she's on a half size, I'm immediately going to say, do you like how A, which is the smaller, or B feels in release? 
And they'll be like, well, do that again. A or B. B. Okay, so she's going to be breathing in, breathing out. A or B. Okay, so then, again, type it in. Okay, so feet all the way together for me. Okay, I'm going to measure your hips. So we're going to go around your hiney here. Everyone's fave. Okay, so what we're going to want to do here is that that's going to stay, yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. I love that. Could you just hold that for me? It's perfect. Mm -hmm. So then, actually, I have to squeegee this. I'll do it this way. Can you see? Are we in frame? Are we in frame? We're good. We're good? You can see her? Okay, perfect. Okay, so, yeah, you just hold that right there, because right on your hips for me, perfect. And then I'm going to go around. Okay, so I'm going to turn you to the front if you don't mind. Okay, so you see how we want to make sure that we're going across the full center of her body. So I'm going to say we want to make sure we're going through through your hiney, basically, and then around through the front. How does that feel? Good. Okay, perfect. And now I'll type it in. But I could easily also say the good news is, is that you are in a ball gown, so this one doesn't really matter. So you know what I'm saying? So if you're in a ball gown, you're going to say, okay, so the bust and waist totally matter. Ball uh, the, the hips don't really matter, but we're going to take it anyways. Make sense? Okay, so then we're gonna type it in. And then be like, okay, let me get this all situated. Okay, so you guys excited? Yes. yes. I can't wait to see this like all come in. I mean, it's gonna be like six months from now, my, maybe nine, I don't know, six to nine months probably till it comes in. I'm chit-chatting while I type her information in as to what dress she's getting. Here's where the hiccups come, you guys. If you are consistently feeling like, oh, I don't know. Like, I don't know the information. What was the name of the dress? How do I do this? If you're hesitating here, the security is the biggest pillar you need in this moment. So if you're hesitating and you're like, I don't know how to do this, then they're going to immediately feel insecure. Okay? So after you got her measurements in, I would just go ahead and type the dress in, which dress it is. Then I we're going to get the size chart. The biggest key about the size chart, any guesses? Designer. For sure, absolutely. Right, designer, I would agree. <laughs> um, but mostly, you guys, the biggest thing about the designer, about before you pull these out, is prefacing. So what you want to say is, hey, this is how I would say it. Okay, so just so you know, bridal sizing is funky town. That's what I say. You can also just say, bridal sizing is very different from real life. Bridal sizing is funky town. These are quick ways to say it. So like these, whatever I'm about to show you is generally like two sizes up from real life. Like that's what you'll be ordering. So like just heads up, they're just numbers. Like just know that they don't matter. Like fit is key here. So then I'm gonna be scrolling through. Let's just find one that's nice and big. That'll do. Okay, so this is the designer size chart. This is exactly how I would say it, you guys. I'm not like, wow. Oh, but I'm also like I'm giving I'm going down in my tone because I want her to understand what I am saying and not like we're just on our roller coaster and we're having the best time and we're about to go have some drinks. I want her to understand the importance of what I'm about to say. So again, size chart. We're not going to say numbers. We're not going to say, girl, we need to like there's an addition. No. So we're going to just say we're going to use her measurements. We have a card at my store, but if you type into Bridal Live, I just make comparisons. So, like, you could just probably come around like this, and I would say, okay, so obviously we're looking at U.S. sizing. So that's this top number. So your bust is here, and then your waist is here. So kind of in between these two sizes, and then your hips are here. But again, in that dress, totally don't matter. And just remember, bridal sizing is so funky. So you're kind of in between these two sizes. We, you have to breathe, right, because that's your waist. So it's super important. So I would probably recommend going here. What's your thought? I agree. I agree. Okay, so for the majority of the time, people are cool with their size. However, as we know, there's definitely people who say, I'm going to lose weight, so like maybe I should order a size down. What would you say? So I know I'm not going to lose weight. <laughs> okay, let's run this scenario as it goes through. We're going to get to check out in a minute. But so let's say the bride says, well, you know, like I am going to lose weight. What's the first reaction there? Yes, celebration, like, okay, girl, totally. Like, I'm on your team. If whatever, 
you like whatever feels best for you. I want you to feel like the best version of yourself. And that if that for you means like you want to feel like tight and toned and Pilates queen, I am here for it. Like whatever feels good for you. I'm I'm on your journey. Like you're gorgeous. And I'm sure your fiance loves you just the way you are. But in the event you want to like size down, you totally can. Absolutely. Here's what you're not saying. You totally can. You have to sign for it, though. Does that happen somewhere? Uh huh. OK, so you, you don't want to say the, the reason that's not in the language of bride is because that says if you give your blood and you promise that you will lose weight, you then can order the dress that you are you've technically bought. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're not going to necessarily say, you know, what? you can totally get that dress in that size. You just need to sign for it to say, like, you understand that you have to lose weight. Here's what you would say. You would say, okay, amazing, absolutely. So just know this, we can alter a dress down two sizes. So I'm gonna take the walk down, it's gonna happen like this. I'm gonna show you this way. So you would have a pin, and in doubt, you just use your finger. <laughs> so let's say she's measuring into this size. So you could say, okay, amazing. If you wanna lose weight, totally cool. Know this, that's the phrase, know this. Know this, wedding dresses you can alter down two sizes. So that means you could alter it down two different sizes. And just like in inches, I would say like at your waistline, that's what matters most, right? Like inches in these dresses. That's about like three inches off from where you are like right now. Totally cool. So just know that you could do that. Or if you want to order the size down, you can totally do that. And that would just mean you're this size, street size. Does that make sense? You're just walking them down to say bridal dresses are, does that make sense? Bridal dresses, you can alter down two sizes and just know in wedding gowns, you're street size, you'd be this size. Make sense? So well, the walk down, okay? And then if they say, okay, yeah, I think like instead of the, instead of ordering the 14, I wanna order the 12. You'd say, okay, amazing. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna send in your measurements to the designer just so that they know like, okay, like we didn't make a mistake. Like these are her measurements, but she's cool with ordering this size. And I'll keep those here on file. And I'm gonna write these down for you, the measurements of the dress that we're ordering. So that way you have that and you can kind of know like, this is my goal, here's what I'm going for. Do you feel the difference? Rather than you sign off on it, you own the dress, so like whatever you want, girl. To like, hey, here's the information you might need in order to make sure that this still fits, and I'm letting you know that we're writing this down. Now, if you're back home on virtual and you're like, yeah, but like we need leverage in a corp, you know, because we're a business. So when the dress comes in, it doesn't fit, and it's because she didn't, she wanted to order a smaller size. Here's what you're gonna say. You're gonna learn this <laughs> when it comes to pickups but you're gonna remeasure her when she comes back in for pickups. And the reason you're gonna remeasure her is so that you can know you've got initial measurements and then the one after. And you've told her here that you said, hey, I'm gonna send these measurements to the designer to let them know like that these are your measurements, but you're preferring the size smaller. And that way there's no like question. You can remeasure her when she comes in, but let her know right now that you're going to remeasure her later because when she gets back in the store and you're like measuring her, she's like, excuse me. Yeah, yes. So just know that you're going to tell her right now and like totally, absolutely, we can totally order the size 12. It's no big deal at all. And we'll, I'll keep these measurements. I'm going to give them to you. And then what we're going to do too is like when you come back in, when the dress comes in, we'll just remeasure you right before you slide that dress on. So just know that. And then I would just keep going back because we're about to collect money. <laughs> so everything in delivery is not, it's not as if you've now gone to the doctor's office. The tone cannot change because you're here. And that is a tendency I have noticed and watched time and time again, is that when people get here, it's almost like we as stylists, you guys can sit if you want, or you can hang with me, it doesn't matter. Um, actually, I might need you back, but you know, also these jackets, that is so cute. That's precious, I love it. Um, anyways, I think as stylists, when we get right here in this moment, we're like, okay, uh, money's coming. I measure you ready to get measured. It's almost like we get like antsy pantsy a little bit because our fear is what's the biggest fear right here? They're going to walk away. Like I've done all this hard work. She's cried. And then once you have that happen to you one time, you think, oh, it might happen every time. Right. But that's not the truth. We know that much. So like in this moment, we can start to feel antsy pantsy and forget to say things. So hit measurements. Get comfy here, you guys. This is like my legit favorite part because people get so nervous about collecting money and it's like the joy of my life. Like I love it. <laughs> so I want you to feel that way. Like when you're here, don't get shaken in your mindset that like something's going to shake. Okay. So we've measured. Now it's time for payment. So you, 
in this process, again, when, if you're hesitating, if you're like being super slow here, I need measurements to happen fast, not slow. Okay, so in real time, this is what it looks like. I'll measure you now real quick. Okay, this is just the longest measuring tape. <laughs> okay, I, I just feel like it's like a lasso. Okay, so in, in real time, this is what it would look like at her store. So I would say, okay, Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I'd say, okay, come up, come over here with me. Okay, so we're gonna get you measured really quickly. I'm just gonna like talk. I'm not gonna be right here, but it'll be it'll be good enough. <laughs> the cameraman loves me today. <laughs> okay, I would say, okay, are you excited? I think so. Okay, okay, arms out. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna measure like just through the center. Do you see how I'm going under her jacket? If you're doing over the clothes, right? If they have a sweater on, like we're gonna have to like lift it up or something. So I'm gonna measure through the center of your bust. Okay. All right, how's that feel? Good, okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm holding it, I'm gonna type it. Okay, so now I'm gonna measure through the center, like right where your waist ends. Okay, okay breathe in, breathe out. Okay, do you like A or B? Oh, it's very good, okay, perfect. All right, yeah, keep your feet all the way together. I know that you've got a ball gown, so like this doesn't matter, but mm -hmm. if you wanna fit a dress, we're gonna take it anyway, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so that should go right through the center of your hiney. Can you fit it in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so bridal sizing, just so you know this, it's kind of funky. So it's like you would basically, you're gonna order like two sizes in your bigger than your regular size, so just heads up there. It's a little funky town. I don't know why it's like this, it's just European still, so. So here we go. Okay, so here's the size chart. Obviously, we're U.S. sizing, so I want you to see that. Mm -hmm. And then these are your body measurements. So it looks like your bust is here, then your waist is here, and then again, your hips don't really matter, but they kind of fall back down this way. So based off that, obviously, we need you to breathe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's key. So I would probably recommend going here. What's your thoughts? Okay, perfect. Okay. So I'm gonna type that in. I'm gonna go. I, I can hear your people up there in the vault. They're so fun. I'm typing the dress. I'm typing in the dress. I'm getting the information loaded, loaded, loaded. I'm still talking, talking, talking. Like da 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 da. And then the dress is here, okay? Yeah, we totally can. So then the dress is here. It's loaded. Here's what I'm gonna say to her. I will like, we have an iPad. If, this is, if you're using a desktop, do not get antsy pantsy here. I know the vibes. I've seen it and people are like, oh, it's money time. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm turning the screen towards them, okay? And I'm going to describe. Okay, here's the name of your dress. It's the Maria dress. This is the size we just talked about and here's the price. I'm saying nothing about numbers out loud. We don't know if there's a group here. We don't know if nobody else is meant to know. I'm saying, here's the dress. Here's the color you tried it on in. Here's the size we talked about and here's the price. This is the veil we talked about. Again, that's the color you tried it on in and the price. And then we have tax and shipping. And then we do whatever form of payment works best. Can you hold off on the veil? Absolutely. But here's what you need to know on, on the veil is that the veils, they take time just like wedding dresses, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'll put a note on your file. I'll contact you in probably like a month or so. So that way, because if they can land at the same time, honestly, that's ideal. So if I were you, if you love the veil, I'd say go for it now. But if not, you can totally hold off. What's your thought? it okay perfect okay so we'll leave this on so after we have shipping and tax and we just land right there okay so let's say she just hands me her card and well you'd be inserting it right there so let's say she just hands me her card and they're good to go let's pretend that they're anxious all of a sudden and they look at each other and they're like oh I'm gonna have to call I'm gonna have to call the bank and like I wasn't expecting to pay for this go ahead Yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. You can go ahead and do that. You guys, I do not take four seconds out of my day. I do not say, okay, if you need to go and do that, that's totally fine. I literally look at her like, thank you so much for that information. I would love for you to move your money. And look at her and say, okay, absolutely. If you want to go ahead and call them, literally this happens all the time here. We, I get it. So go ahead. If you want to call them, I'll be right here. I'm not saying that that's befuddling to me. That's not a word, but it's fine. Um, it, like, I don't panic. 
And also, if they start talking about how they want to split it up, like, Mom, I'll pay a 1000 and you can pay the rest. I just let it all go down. Like, you are as confident as can be. Because the moment you start to say, you just go ahead and go figure that out, they will take your grace and run. And that is okay. But I would just recommend in this moment, do not think to yourself, oh, my gosh, like if I was in their situation, oh, like uh, is it weird if I'm standing here while they're talking about, no, I'm happy. Like, okay, yeah, if you need to call, yeah. And you're like, oh, Aunt Susie said she wanted to pay that. I don't know. That's great. Is she here? If they have to call someone, let them call someone. Don't worry about it. Because the reason is they have or make three transactions. Yeah, I, I have seen it all. Uh, people have paid me in cash, and I'm like, we, you brought this today. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Just like that. Grandma, she was like, honey, I wanted to. What I want you to know about this moment, when you present this, do not back down in the way of don't worry about, I don't need you to get like, okay, so yeah, and then this is sales tax, and this is shipping, so like, I know it's a little over budget, but like, we did pretty good. If you don't charge for shipping, P.S. at your store, um, get on board. Um, that's a whole other section, but that. Okay, perfect. So this, this, and this. Okay, so now if you're at this moment happens, is the last scenario we run through. If this happens and they're all of a sudden like, gosh, I just wasn't thinking I was going to have to pay this money today. Go ahead. So um, I need to call my bank, yeah. and I, I need to move some money, and we, we need to talk to your dad. Can you, like, make a deposit today? Is that a thing we can do? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, look, I'm fully open-faced. Like, I'm excited still. I'm so excited. Like, absolutely. Okay, so, yeah, you were thinking, like, you just wanted to do, like, half down today then? That would be great. Do you see how I'm making a suggestion? And uh, pay in full is always our preferred method. Okay. Hands down, 100% of the time. If your store is, like, 60% down and that's their preferred method, run with it. We prefer 100% down. So, in the event, they're like, can we do half down? I don't want to hesitate here either. Okay, yeah, absolutely. You want to do half? Okay, let me get my calculator because, I mean, I want to get it right. Okay, here's what I would say. Take note. I personally don't like to leave a balance in the balance. So then I would say, okay, perfect. Okay, so we're going to do this one for 1500 today. Okay, this is your card that you want to do this on? Okay, amazing. Okay, so the remaining balance, I would swipe it, and then I would say, okay, the remaining balance, like what's your thought? Do you want to do that in a month, or what's your thought? I prefer when we come back and pick up the dress. I prefer when we come back and pick up the dress. Is that okay? Okay, that's a great question. Okay, so what we would do is just prefer to like do that before the dress actually arrives. So no worries. It, it We can just plan a different time. We'll run this automatically if you want to use this card. So we can pick like a certain day or if you want to break it down into payments, we can do that as well. Since we live two hours away, would it be possible if I call in the balance? Totally. Actually, our system will keep it on file, so it's like no big deal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So which day would you prefer? Friday, I get paid Friday. Okay, perfect. This upcoming Friday? Yeah. Okay, great. We'll do that. Do you see how everything is like open faced? I'm not worried. We're making a solution together. And if they have to figure out, and if, if she can't figure out that remaining balance right that second, say, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow up with you on Tuesday and we'll come up with a plan. But I don't ever like to just leave it hanging for your owners, you guys. And as you know, as stylists, if you leave a balance hanging, you will be chasing that, and it feels different when they come for a pickup. When they come for a pickup and they still have to pay you, there's this, like, right? It can be like, well, and so, like, you love your dress, like, and we've got a balance still. That is a different vibe than when you are, when the payment is done. When they come for a pickup, it is, like, an exciting moment all over again, okay? So it's super exciting for your owners. Do that for your owners. They'll appreciate it so much more. So any questions? Yeah. Go, I can repeat it because then we don't have to move the camera. Give them something to do, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I w her, her question is, she tells them, like, hey, five minutes, I'll be right back to you. And the, qu the answer is, it's not, it's not good nor bad. It's not preferred. 
that's my opinion. And I feel like based off just the arc of the thing of the emotion that when sometimes when you as a stylist leave or you say, Hey, I'm leaving, it opens up a door for communication that you can't be a part of. So like you cannot combat anything that they say, meaning like, are you sure you just don't want to go to Walmart store? Or like you're not a you don't have the ability to communicate to them in space when they're alone and you're not in it. So my preference would be that that would not happen. So I would prefer you to say like, hey, okay, so I'm gonna go run and grab this real quick. I'll be right back. Or and or hey Brad and whoever wants to be with us at checkout, feel free to come with me. We'll need you over here. Or is it a different area in your store? Uh, yeah, it's like a it's like a downtown area of Walmart. Okay. Okay. So like you just you could have this could happen there. Yeah. And the party could be doing something else. They could be drinking champagne and hanging out. Okay, perfect. Then that's what I would do. Just separate the two and bring the people over with you. Just not leave them. Okay, you guys, that is measuring and checkout. We gotta go. I think it's a fun time over here because you sold a dress and that's exciting. So, okay, hope that was helpful, virtual. Goodbye. <laughs>